Hi everybody, Radical Gardener here, and I just can't get this to be uh, any lower. The iPod won't go any lower than that, so it's as good as it gets. Um, today's Friday. It's beautiful, 74 degrees. Um, I think it's the 24th, something like that, 23rd, 24th. I never know. But anyways, uh, boy, if you want to get everybody riled up, tell them that you might be moving to Florida or and or that you uh, are buying cryptos. That just uh, the last video I made, that made a lot of noise. So let's talk about this. So why did I even consider Florida? Well, I want to be somewhere warmer. So I was looking at places like Tennessee and what have you. But uh, and honestly, I don't want to be next to the, you know, Madrid fault line and, um, you know, a lot of Tennessee is clay. It's not really good soil. And so, you know, I don't know. There were, there were a lot of different reasons, you know, and I toured a lot when I was, um, when I was singing and there's some places I really liked. Actually, a place that I absolutely loved was Arkansas. Um, but, uh, yeah, and I'll tell you why. So I'm going to read this note I got from this person. And I'm not telling you exactly where I'm just saying the panhandle. I, I really want to get his permission that, um, that I can share exactly where it is. But anyways, um, he, said, he said, and he's from here. He said, when I learned that this area had the qualities I desired, then I drove, drove there, checked out the town, and was pleased with the variety of stores and lack of crowds. On the historical business district, I stopped at the local realtor's office, introduced myself as a new retiree from GM in Detroit, was looking to buy a home, and it turned out that that guy at that realty was also here from Michigan. Um, so he said, I wanted a place with its own well water and septic tank for the independence and rural quality of life. Um, so this real estate agent printed out a dozen choices, mapped them out, and, and so Craig began his, his hunting. I selected a rural home about one mile off the main highway on a dead-end road. Local zoning requires at least five acres of, hold on here, about five acres, where'd you go, per home. Eliminates crowding far from the highway. I don't hear any road traffic trucks motorcycles, etc Nearest neighbor home is about a hundred yards away. So even his barking dogs don't disturb me free fishing licenses for retirees Hunting allowed on your land concealed permits not a problem and he says <laughs> there's there's meth heads here and there But that's like everywhere in America He says even though I used to enjoy Berkeley where I live Ferndale Royal Oak and their flea market I will not go back north because I love this area and has everything to fill all the gaps. So he talks about all the different stores, the flea markets, the Chevy dealers, small airport, and the official population is 12,000. Okay. When I was house hunting, I took a big county map, walked into the local police department and introduced myself as a retiree looking to relocate here and asked for their help in identifying their locations on the map where they would not want their own kids or grandkids to be living at. So he was trying to identify wherever there was low crime. This is really smart. He's really smart about this. Um, I explained the real estate agents won't reveal negative places and federal law won't allow some negative things to be explained, but that I trust the police because their job is to protect the public safety in dealing with problems. I felt the police had more honest information, were not restricted by any laws to hide any bad things from me. I handed him a highlighter, felt marker, and the map, and they joyfully circled things like the location of the sewage plant, the county jail prisoner complex, and the troublemaker side of town. I learned where the big school and high traffic area was at. Uh, driving around, I located the high voltage power lines where they were at a large commercial chicken operation and he said just to avoid the stinky air and contamination. Most every state has a sex offender registry so he says if you wanted to check that you could. Uh, Florida bans them from living near schools etc so the areas avail available to them is limited. I found, let's see, there's a nice big RV campsite 
uh, at a lake close by. Plenty of snowbirds, nice little lake, nice little homes, but plenty of mosquitoes and flies too. I avoided all crowded areas because if we ever get food shortages, financial collapse, or disease epidemic, crowded areas will be bad. They'll eat your garden too. The town is a bit historical, has a one mile wide beautiful round sinkhole lake, and there is one other like it in the world in Zurich, Switzerland. Nice little historical library since 1800s, train tracks nearby, an old train station now gone, but it made it for a popular stop. This town was popular with some rich New York folks in the late 1800s. Plenty of historical big old homes around the lake and all the building code enforcement too. Not my cup of tea. On my land, I did not waste time or money for a garage. I simply bought a 40 foot steel shipping container for $2,700 delivered had them drop it in between my tool shed and the forest out of the way and as a fire break in case the woods caught fire I may be able to save the shed. If I didn't fill up the container I could park two cars inside, close and lock the doors and go away on vacation and be more secure than any typical garage. Um, let's see he's telling me where he eats sometimes all the different buffets I, and I don't really eat that kind of stuff, but, you know, it's good to know. Um, he says there's a golf course. Um, he's talking about the different beaches that you can drive to. Uh, 10 to 15 minutes north of me is a quaint little Alabama town called Fl Florella. It is more like the Andy Griffiths show in <laughs> Mayberry. Several antique shops and feed store. The beach communities are gorgeous, crowded, more expensive, high taxes, and crime that is attracted to such places. Um, he says from his house, it only takes him 15 minutes to get to the big stores. Uh, in the historic old town area, we also have a well-stocked, typical 1930s uh, general store. The historic street is alongside the train tracks. The main modern parts of town sidestep the historic street. Um, it just goes on and on. Several good farm, garden, and feed stores, tractor supply and ace hardware, Tri-County Feed Store on the border with Alabama. Uh, also, just a couple miles outside of Florella is a, I'm, I'm sure I'm not saying that right, is a country store gas station that sells red dyed kerosene at the pump for $3.50 a gallon and big sacks of dog food and chicken feed. So it's definitely still got some of its rural personality, right? Um, D DFS holds some cultural events. Um, he goes on too. I mean, he tells me things about like social security. I'm trying to find that. Let's see. Car insurance full is $300 for six months. Uh, property tax. Uh, the first $50,000 of assessments exempted for everybody. Um, his annual tax bill is $300. When you're, you know, retiring, that's kind of a big, it's a big deal no matter what. Uh, 70 year hurricane history safest area from miami to corpus christi is that area a 30 mile wide strip geography rolling hills and real trees it looks a lot like ann arbor it's just that's just beautiful it got a septic tank and well water no water bills electric rates are 11 cents per kilowatt hour Soil is sandy. Yeah, that's what people were saying. So he says a truckload of topsoil, um, four hundred dollars for twenty yards. But I'm gonna I'm gonna do the raised garden. You know that's what I'm gonna do, and I'm going to I'm gonna do the big metal uh, containers. You know, uh, you know, you know what I'm talking about like the troughs. So I'm gonna do the metal troughs. Uh, I really like how. Um, the, the gardener in Australia. I really like that and I like how it looks. So I'm not going to worry about how bad the soil is. And I do want to grow fruit trees. Um, and he said that there's quite a few there. So I don't know. We'll see what that's all about. But nothing you can't fix. 
Um, see anything else here? Anyways, you can tell that it was, I mean, there's more. I, I, I printed this out, it's like 10 pages. There's so much stuff here. And really, uh, from Michigan, you know, what is it? 19 hours when you go into Northern uh, Florida? Let's see. Okay, so he says before he retired, he did a lot of research to find new location, research taxes, demographics, aquifer quality, rainfall, geography, and hurricane risk. He says, so no state income tax, sale tax 7%, excellent aquifer, well depth 80 feet, elevation above sea level 300 feet, no flooding. 50 miles inland from beaches, no tsunami risk, car insurance full 300 a month, property tax we already talked about. He's got a small double wide. Um, Yeah, I mean, I don't know. It sounded good to me. So, now that we're actually talking about it, the reality of what does that entail, like moving. Because if you think I'm leaving all these plants, that's not happening. So, but I have a lot of them in containers. And there's just a couple of trees that I want to dig up and a couple of plants that I've had for like 15 years. So, um, we're going to meet with the real estate agent on uh, Sunday, and we'll just see, you know, what she has to say. And if it looks like we can get quite a bit of money uh, out of the house, yeah, I think we'll go for it. Joe is almost all the way there on it, um, but I, you know... He, he moves slower than I do, though he's pretty open to this move. So the fact that both of us are uh, is saying something because we're both so intuitive. Um, yeah. So, I don't know. I'm kind of excited. Well, I'm not kind of. I am excited. The only thing that would change it is if we could figure out a way to have a place down there and a place here. And if we hit it with the crypto, we can do it. But we also want to sell while we can get money for this place. And I think after October, I don't know, it's going to get a lot harder. So that's my feeling. And land where we want to go is really affordable. Like the property, uh, the property rates are down where, where that is. In Florida so I don't know and they're and they're high here you know because I'm in a real desirable neighborhood so we'll see you know it's what I always talk about you guys you know because I got a lot of advice from Peter oh just all kinds of people and wonderful stuff I mean you know you you really care about me I mean that's just it was really humbling um, but remember we all end up where we're supposed to be we all end up where we're supposed to be and every single time I've moved, it was better than the place before it. So, I mean, we're very happy here, but it doesn't mean that we we need to stay. And I got some gypsy blood in me, you know, so I don't, I don't mind, you know, picking up and packing off and going somewhere else. I really don't mind that. And I don't mind starting another garden either. You know, I think another gardener's going to come in here and really, you know, really... Uh, treat the place right so um, I don't know I don't know yet you know but it's really yeah it feels like it's gonna happen right and uh, yeah on the crypto you guys you know I've got a lot of feedback I'm on a couple prepper sites I think I'm gonna get myself off of those sites on Facebook they are just too intense um, you know, I just really do go with the flow and, you know, whatever, whatever. I'm not, like, digging holes in my backyard and putting gold and silver in it. Uh, you know, what are you supposed to do with gold and silver? You know, you're supposed to go to the grocery store with it. A lot of this crypto uh, stuff, uh, a couple of, like, Q, I think it's Q coin. 
Uh, now they're going to have crypto charge cards. I don't know. You know they're, they're really getting their stuff, uh, stuff wired tight, these crypto companies. And if you stay in those top 10 coins, you're pretty safe. And they're still really affordable, except for Bitcoin. Bitcoin is not, but everything else is. And the Samantha Jane that I listened to, she says Bitcash is going to be bigger than Bitcoin. Um, so uh, that's really cheap right now. So um, I don't know. Uh, you know, maybe we'll hit, uh, you know, we just want to hold our crypto until the end of 2020. And, uh, you know, maybe we'll sit here until 2020 and then go down to Florida and, and have land down there and be down in there in winter and here in the summer. I don't know yet. But, you know, we're throwing it all against the, the wall and seeing what sticks, right? As you do. Anyway, all right. Uh, love you all. Radical Gardener, from my garden to yours, may your garden always grow. You know I'm sending you a ton of love. And I, I picked probably my tomatillos. I, I cut them all back now. I probably have 100 tomatillos. <laughs> so I'll be making tomatillo sauce. And I picked uh, 50, 60 green beans. And uh, they're going all the way up to the roof of the... Of the uh, the garage, which is awesome. And what else did I pick? Something else. Oh, I actually got some sweet potatoes. I'm emptying the sweet potato bag, so nobody's more surprised than me. They're small. They're about this big. But, hey, they're edible. All right, everybody. Take care. Radical Gardener. Bye.